Hi there, my name is Frank Como. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a one camera live stream setup using the OBS Studio software. I'll put a link in my description uh, where you can download the software or if you need to update it. Uh, this is the current version at this time. So let's get started. First things first, uh, you need to connect your camera to your laptop. Uh, I'm using the Panasonic AGAC90 AVC cam. Uh, there, are, there are various ways that you can connect your camera to your laptop uh, to get a video a video capture so that I can be able to live stream. One of the ways is using uh, the AV port uh, or you can use HDMI or for some cameras you can use the SDI port. Uh, for this camera I'm using the AV port using just a simple cable that came with the camera. At this we plug it in to the AV. Yeah, there we go. So the AV, the AV cable that I connected to an Easy Capture card. This one can get it anywhere in town. Or, uh, or if you're using the HDMI port, you can use a HDMI to USB connection. Yeah, so I'm connecting the AV to the USB capture card uh, to the laptop. So that's how I'm doing it. So let me power on my camera. There we go. So here we have the camera on. And you can go back to OBS to do a bit of setup. Uh, on the OBS program uh, in studio mode. Studio mode is the best where you can, you can make changes while still being alive and only implement those changes through a transition once you are ready to do so. Um, on the scenes part, you can create a new scene for this tutorial, I'm just going to name this as test. Click OK. Let me drag the scene to the top. Yeah. In the sources uh, panel, just click add. You can just hover over the add. Add a video capture device give your video capture a name like camera one or what you the name you'll prefer and click ok then select your video capture this is av to usb 2.0 as the easy capture click ok sometimes in, on obs you might need to restart the program to get your video feed if you are just adding it then but once you, you make any changes on OBS, it will save automatically. Even when you close it and open it again, uh, your changes will still be there. So here you can see the scene we made, the test, and the source, camera one. But as you can see, the camera here is just on the corner. So we want to make it fit the window can just right click and come to transform and select stretch to screen there we go and you can transition yeah so going to the settings uh, so these are my video settings as you can see uh, in case you use sort of the same camera, you can use the same. For the audio, 
uh, what you need to be aware of is the desktop audio in case you're using a headset maybe you can have the desktop redirected to your to your headphone but if not just keep it disabled uh, so that you don't have surrounding noise interference uh, since you're using a camera since you are, I'm feeding in a sound to my camera, I just use uh, the capture card as the microphone because it will capture both video and the sound in good quality. So once you make your changes, uh, click apply and OK. So to set up to Facebook, uh, can open your browser and go to your page. Uh, my page is uh, going to use my photography page for this demonstration. Photography by Phoenix. Once you go to your create post area, you can see create live, select live. Uh, I'm using a stream key. So here you can select use a persistent stream key, scroll to this other side, uh, there's a stream key, copy the stream key. This is what will link OBS to Facebook for your video stream. So once you've copied the stream, just come to settings, go to the stream tab. Uh, this is already selected as Facebook Live. Uh, the server is default. Uh, change this stream key to the copied stream. Then uh, let me move this so you can see. Apply and click OK. Then once you are ready, you can start streaming. back to Facebook I take a while it's connecting live video and there we go you have your live stream ready so scrolling down you can cross post to multiple pages at the same time this is a cool new feature that Facebook has put in their updates for your video, make sure you give it a title and a caption and once you're ready, just click go live. And that's how to use a one camera setup to live stream to Facebook live using OBS Studio. If you do have any questions about this setup, do comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In case you are new to the channel, please do subscribe if you liked this video if these videos are help to you please give it a thumbs up and do share thank you for watching